When you defeat Albania in five days and prove to everyone that you're super serious about this whole new Roman Empire thing. Oh yeah, that's right, and I'm sure the pizza empire is now going to be able to single-handedly take out Greece next. I love how much Benito Mussolini looks like he's just, like, acting the tough guy role right here. Like, it looks like he's trying so hard to be that guy right now. Berlin children hearing allied aircraft engines between 1940 and 1945. <laughs> Mommy. Berlin children hearing allied aircraft engines in 1948 and 1949. Finally, <laughs> food. What a difference literally like three years makes. During this time period, they're literally dropping explosions and barely a moment later, they're dropping like Pop-Tarts. Charles Darwin collecting a large amount of specimens to assist in his work on natural selection. Gregor Mendel growing some peas and developing modern genetics. It's not much, but it's honest work. It's a weird meme format because I think in this example, King Neptune would be a lot more popular than SpongeBob here. Is the fall of Rome comparable to the current situation in the United States? No. Rome had good roads, and those good roads led to Rome. It was a nice little cycle. My taxes in this country don't even pay to fill the pothole in front of my house. I think even Bully Maguire himself agrees with this. They don't know that in 1976, a Japanese prawn actor kamikaze a plane into Yakuza boss's home because he felt that taking bribes from Lockheed Martin, a former Japanese war enemy, was violating the Samurai Bushido Code. Whoa, this is a lot to take in. Okay, yeah, not gonna lie, I should be talking to this guy at the party. He knows his stuff. The Spaniards after arriving in Mesoamerican lands and having a sip of cold spice beverage made from the powder of cocoa beans. Thank you for this gourmet-ish. Now we must kill you all. Oh look, there's already some Aztec blood on his shirt right here. The Byzantines using Greek fire to protect their empire. The Arab fleets seeing the Byzantines use Greek fire. To one empire, it is literally beautiful, a sign of protection. To another, it is literally hell. Charles D.B. King, after definitely not rigging the 1927 Liberian presidential elections and winning 234,000 votes despite Liberia only having 15,000 registered voters. All in a good day's work. Anyone ever considered maybe the people loved him so much that they voted like 10 times for him. Y'all just ain't using your brain. I'm tired of being a housewife, 1950s doctors. You're just not putting your family first. Hmm? Hmm. Here's a prescription for meth. Crazy how often that was just used for everything back in the day. Just ask the no-no Germans. Welcome to the Axis, kid. We've got no-no Germany, Junta, Japan, and Thailand. W what did Thailand do? Nobody knows. Okay, hold on. This couldn't have been for very long if they were officially in the Axis. I literally hear no one talking about this. Oh, well, it's settled. Everyone knows how trustworthy Wikipedia is, but there they are. They are listed at the very bottom as an other Axis power. This might be one of my favorite quotes of all time. Thailand at the time was labeled by both the Japanese and the Allies as the Italy of Asia. Even during the 1940s, everyone knew Italy was just a giant meme. Someone created a war tier list throughout history. We have God tier, the Ottomans, the British, and the Germans. In the high tier, the USA, France. I like the inclusion of Ethiopia. Decent tier, South Korea, Ireland, Poland, Austria, Spain, Japan. Bad tier, yeah, we have Brazil, Belgium. China was included because they have unlimited man power, but poor tactics and low tech. Oh, Mexico too. Won't even fight tier. Most of the neutral nations, Switzerland, Sweden. And then finally at the very bottom, we have the Italian tier. All right, this is just, just not right. The British staring at Imperial Germany, building a Navy that will match the strength of the Royal Navy in a few years. Throws that bad boy in reverse, just backs it up. Hmm, I guess this meme is trying to say British foreign policy was one of the reasons that led to WW1. Everyone, haha, France got wrecked quickly by Germany in WW2. And then there's Denmark. Six hours. Six hours. That's how long it took for them to surrender. Erwin Rommel with the 7th Panzer Division about to just completely obliterate some random forest. And why not? I mean, maybe it deserved it. How people think it was with Portugal, Spain, Italy, France, Belgium, UK, and Germany staring down at all of Africa. How it really was. Africa just slowly trying to take out the zombie horde, but ultimately they are doomed. Well, unless you're Ethiopia, they did pretty fine. Italy in the Italian history books. Italy in Ethiopian, Libyan, Austrian, and Germany. German history books. Finally, Italy in almost every other history book. Invade of Greece, Germany help a switch asides. I was gonna say, is Italy really that terrifying to German history books? But I guess in the beginning there, yeah, they kind of were the whole Romans and everything. This is Timmy. He has a lot to study and clean his room. Timmy decided to close his eyes and leave everything for later. He prefers to fantasize about living in the Roman Empire instead of doing meaningless chores. Don't we all, Timmy? Don't we all? I wonder what would have happened if I had gone to art school instead. Same, bro.
Same. And it's all of us. I don't think there's a single person on Earth that doesn't ask it. Uncolonized, non-Christian country. The Spanish Empire. <sighs> He, 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 he. Yes, they were awfully naughty, weren't they? Spain grabbing America's hair. France now looking at America's hair. But Spain does not allow France to touch America's hair. That's Spanish Navy, though. You can't come over here. Only I get to do this. Britain, America, and France saying, you can't defeat me. Italy saying, I know. Oh, and they joined the other side. Well, that was a twist I wasn't expecting. I'm sure the Axis were saying the same thing too. Okay, what the hell happened here? We have Italy on one side, but then also Italy secretly supporting the other. <laughs> Sneak 100, yeah. You can say that again. Did Italy even know what Italy was doing? Uh, Cause I'm curious, I don't think anyone else knew. When your imperialist nation joins the Great War to honor its alliance with another imperialist nation to fight against even more imperialist nations, yet most people remember you as the sole bad guy of the war. It's a big reason why a lot of people love World War One because there was no clear good guys or bad guys. Just a lot of gray. I'm sure that's an offensive thing, I'm sure, to some people, but whatever. Writes a poem putting all his political enemies in hell, something random, and then invents a freaking language. That's how the Giga Chad Dante rolls. Dante's Inferno is probably the greatest fan fiction ever written in human history. And apparently a lot of Italian writers continued to use his dialect centuries after his death. Republicans Spain coming in front of the USSR and dropping the Spanish gold reserves in front of them. Weapons to win a war, please. And that's exactly what they were gonna do. I don't know why, but I just love the Spanish Civil War. Like, it was like this mini Cold War between Nono Germany and the Soviets right before they were actually going to go to war. Diogenes spraying his piss in people who insulted him. Diogenes really is just the Sigma male of all philosophers, isn't he? Man, just couldn't be stopped. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. Hmm, Hilter and Stalin. Polish people be like, they're the same. Has anyone actually ever pulled this, though? I would like to see the official uh, numbers. But I guess it's kind of too late because so much time has already passed. The Aztecs looking for the right spot to build their biggest city. Too hot. Too easy. Too rocky. Perfect. Right here in the middle of this f***ing lake. All because they saw an eagle and a snake. Wow. What a bunch of mad lads. The USA changing their flag 28 times. Libya changing their flag 14 times. Denmark using the same flag for over 800 years. I'm pretty sure Denmark has the oldest surviving flag. Is that right? And there it is. It's true. Their flag was so old, people started copying them. All those other Nordic nations. I think it is up for debate, though. Isn't some of these other flags pretty old, too? The U.S. Army in 1939 versus the U.S. Army in 1945. Crazy how fast things changed in just six years. I guess the Great Depression really kind of kept us small. To some historians, the U.S. Army was smaller than Bulgaria's army at that time. Great Britain looking for help after the fall of France. Look it out into the classroom. We have Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, India, Canada. Man, we got some choices. Who should we call upon oh i have an idea how about all of them <laughs> why choose just one when you can have all of them roger sharp after demonstrating his pinball skills in front of a committee in a manhattan courtroom and overturning the ban on pinball machines in new york city what the hell were we doing back in the day banning pinball i mean still not as dumb as banning all of alcohol for like a decade but still i guess the new york government thought that they were scamming kids out of money no it's just because those kids were f***ing noobs they didn't know how to play pinball draft for the vietnam war exists muhammad ali who had no quarrel with the Viet Cong. They couldn't catch him. They tried, but he just wasn't gonna go. I just wanna know who booked this fight. Like, this is so not even right. Muhammad Ali is leagues ahead of this man, unfortunately. And, like, he's not even fighting back. This just is messed up. Romanization of European languages, destroying Romania, Spain, France. Here we go after Albania. Oh, but Albania is not going to allow this to happen. Is that true, though? The Albanian language is, uh... Pretty OG, pretty original. Guess not a whole lot of Latin influences in that area. Pimples, zero. Blackheads, zero. Number of times Iceland defeated Britain over cod fishing rights. That's three, actually. Oh, I thought this was gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, that was a weird little thing that Britain and Iceland got into for a second there. Now you can sleep with all the Roman emperors. Buy now for limited time only. The seller is not responsible for the consequences of sleeping with all the Roman empires. This is awesome. I'll take 20. The Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, and then, yeah, Okay, I'm actually really surprised you even showed the HRE in a good light. Usually this is about the line, the Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire. Public opinion still is good for those, and then every other variation, it, it tends to drop off. Is this the House of Archimedes? Do not disturb my circles. Yeah, this is it. What? What? Circles? Some of these go way over my head. This is some sort of ancient Greek engineer. Yes, finally, Fox is doing some real events. Joe Buck out here narrating Roman battles. But would you look at that? 
The German tribes have materialized out of the forest. Why, why does this sound so perfect? How is this made? Not looking like a full-on attack from the Germans here. <laughs> I'm just saying if for some reason we all forget what the United States national anthem is, there is nothing more American than this song. Late Bronze Age metalsmiths when their friends ask what that weird new metal they're using is called. Haha, <laughs> iron. Hmm, never heard of that. And this man randomly says, let the hate flow through you, I'm guessing next. The USS Wisconsin loading its nine 406 millimeter guns after taking a hit from a North Korean 105 millimeter battery. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but judging by the numbers, I'm pretty sure the USS Wisconsin is about to take its revenge and it is not going Going to be pretty. When you see the anti-tank dogs run back towards you because of their familiarity with the diesel engines used by the Soviet tanks rather than the gasoline engines used by the Germans. Literally shoots themselves right in the foot. I don't think they fully thought this one through. I actually didn't even know this happened, but I should have known just using doggy explosions is not a good combination. The People's Republic of China are the rulers of China. No, Republic of China are the rulers of China. China is not real, says Bhutan. Yes, says me. China is a figment of our imagination, exactly like Wyoming. I actually literally just realized not that long that it was actually Garfield that finally revealed this information to us. I had no idea he was the first person to leak it to the public and ever since. Have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? It's just been a popular thing. I'm just glad it came from a trusted source. Question. What type of Roman Empire is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. The Holy Roman Empire. <gasps> How dare you, sir? This is the ultimate pro I am real life Dwight in this scenario. I don't think I'd be able to keep my cool when he says this. European explorers arriving in Australia. I mean, bugs? Everywhere bugs. What the hell is this place? Yeah, we're just gonna ship our prisoners here from now on. Damn, girl, you're thicker than the Great Molasses Flood of 1919, which was 25 feet high at its peak and decimated Boston's northern end neighborhood. I actually learned about this when I visited Boston, and I have never been able to get that story out of my head. How crazy is that? It weighed 13,000 tons, and it rushed through the streets at an estimate made it 35 miles per hour. For some reason, I thought molasses was like really slow moving. I'm like, wow, how did it cause that much damage? Like I'm imagining it with like the consistency of syrup. 21 people were oofed and 150 injured. What is molasses anyways? And big thanks to the October patrons. Majestic Unicorn. Poppy Drew Woo. I love Marks. Drew's Thick Briggs and Girlfriend. Drew's Argentinian Grandpa. Aryan After Hours. Bring Back Poland Ball. Alfonso M6. Barnsky W. Dalton D. Full Send Nick. Ivan Lima. Jesse C. Luxembourg Lover. Max Cooper. Nick Blorf. Mine Brothers 999X2. And Stormtrooper 501. Thank you.